the vicar here. She was already quite passionate about the environment and how we could make a difference. She needed somebody to step up and become the eco rep. Just something inside just said, I think that's me, it's something I'm already passionate about myself. It did involve lots of paperwork and research as well, so we'd done surveys, which was Carbon 360, and it just helped to identify where we were falling short and where we needed to improve. One of the main things I think we looked at to begin with was how our energy was provided. There are lots of different options when it comes to your energy. One is obviously making sure your provider is using sustainable energy and that was really important to us. Um, there are other options you could obviously look at from um, solar panels or heating pumps. But obviously that all comes with a cost. So for the time being, we've gone down the route of using sustainable energy. And then as things move forward, we, we may start looking further. The building changes that we have done to be more eco-friendly have been things like we've changed our bulbs to LED lighting. We changed some of the toilet switches into automatic switches so that they went off and it didn't mean people could leave them on all night if they were in as a group. We made sure the boiler was an A-grade condenser boiler. It was the best that we could afford at the time. We are very, very lucky here at St Cuthbert's Church because we are a modern building. We're only 35 years old. And so a lot of the insulation had already been put in when we came. So we've now got double glazing. The stained glass window went in 10 years ago and we made sure that that was double fronted so that it would keep the heat in. And we are a tall building. So I don't know if heat pump will be feasible until we've had the actual survey done to see. But we are really well insulated. I, I can put that heating on and after half an hour, 45 minutes, the, the place is warm and hot and you can turn it off. So we collect the water from the community room roof and obviously we get quite a lot of rain in Liverpool so when that um, falls we, we do collect that in water butts and then we'll use that water to, to water the vegetables on the allotments so we're not actually using more water than we need and we never use a hose pipe. I wanted to be able to provide for people that maybe are less well off or didn't have large gardens a space that they could come and grow vegetables. But I also wanted to do it so that we could teach the young people how to care and how to take responsibility. So the motivation there was twofold. One, it was to have a better environmental footprint. And the second was mental health and well-being and how the two came together. I think in the last two years, especially, as people have seen us winning the awards, they're coming on board and people are starting to take the messages home. We regularly preach, we regularly include the environment within our services, we have it on our website, we have top tips on our website uh, for people to be able to do easily and comfortably. The main things that I've learned doing this are the smaller things, make the biggest difference. Sometimes we concentrate thinking oh we want solar panels and we can't get those straight away but there's so many small little things that we can do that have a positive impact and, and don't worry too much about the bigger things yet they will come. You may need to raise money, you might need to get funds for that but just concentrate on the smallest things and they will make the biggest impact. Just concentrate on trying not to use plastics as much, just concentrate on not trying to um, use things that are one-time use, you know, reuse, rebuild, recycle and, and try and get everyone involved in that. Look outside the box for some of the answers. This cost us nothing to do. Everything was recycled, everything was scavenged. It doesn't need to be expensive. We've even got involved in carbon literacy courses, so you can, you know, you can get involved in so many different things to learn, and you're always learning. Don't worry about making mistakes. It's natural to make a mistake, and then you can always turn that around to a positive afterwards. Come and see us, come and get involved. We're a gold church, but that doesn't mean we've now, oh, we've done what we need to do. We've, we've got to continue, and we're not gonna sit still.